Uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further into differential equations and look further into Euler's method and go over an example on that. And basically go, go over this example which states uh, use Euler's method with step size 0.1 to construct a table of approximate values for the solution of the initial value problem. This one that we dealt with uh, in my earlier videos. Y prime is equal to X plus Y. Let's write this a bit neater. Uh, and then we have the initial value of Y of zero is equal to one. Or when X is zero, Y is one. So in solving this, let's just recall the uh, Euler's method from my last video. Make sure to watch it. It was a pretty uh, interesting video on it. Very useful. Anyway, so Euler's method, yeah, Euler's method, basic, the basic idea is if you have a differential equation of the form y prime is equal to f of x, y, I'll put in capital, so like as we have here, this y prime is a function of x and y, that's all that we're saying here, and you can approximate y prime such that we'll go y zero, yeah, plus h, f of uh, x zero, y0 and these are the initial values so these are basically we're given y yeah I'll put that down y of x0 equals to y0 so in our case x0 is 0 and y0 is 1 so we approximate it by doing this where we can put yeah we could basically put this derivative inside here and we just have an equation of a line so it's a linear approximation so when we approximate where h again is the step size and then we approximate by multiplying the step size by the derivative and adding the previous value and then going further and further we just get y n is equal to y n minus one plus h times f of x n minus one y n minus one so yeah, make sure to watch uh, my earlier video to get uh, more in-depth uh, idea, yeah, ideas uh, on this uh, topic. So basically for our case, so for our case, we could use the same method. What our uh, case right here, we have y prime is equal to um, yeah, our f of x and y, which equals to just simply x plus y. And our initial, and and again, our x zero, as I stated, is equal to zero, and our y zero is equal to one, and the step size h is equal to point one. So we can begin solving our first uh, approximation. So y one is equal to y zero, which is one, plus h, which is point one, times it by f of x0, y0. So in other words, we can plug in our x0, which is 0 and 1, into this equation. So this is just a differential equation, or the derivative here. So this is 0, x plus y, like that. And then we could just solve this. We end up having is 1 times 0 0.1 times 1. That's just 0 0.1. Uh, that, that's just going to be 1 plus 0.1 and this equals to obviously 1.1. So that's our first approximation. Yeah, and this approximation, since we're adding uh, x0, which is 0, by 0.1, this basically means y1 is equal to y of, and then 0.1. I mean, this is an approximation to it. Actually, I'll rewrite that. So I'll write this first. So this just means y of 0.1 is roughly equal to this approximation of y1 which equals to 1.1. So that's what this whole thing means. And then when we look at y2, we use the previous values. So now we use y1, which is 1.1, plus again 0.1, which is h, times it by, now we have x plus y, and our x now is our 0.1, plus our new y, which is 1.1, like that. So now we do the same thing. This is equal to, let's just think about this, 1.1. This point 0.1 is the same thing as writing 1 over 10 times it by, I still, yeah, I don't want to plug this in the calculator. You can plug in the calculator, I just want to do this by hand, just to uh, exercise my algebra skills. Okay, so 1.1 plus 0.1, that's 1.2. 
So this equals 2, 1.1 1 .1 divided by, I mean, plus 1 over 10, 1.2. You can just divide this out. We get 1.1 1 .1 plus 0.12, because we're dividing by 10. Adding these up, we have, this is 1.22. And again, this, what this one is, is simply y of 0.2, because we're adding h twice, or 0.1 twice. So this is this is approximation to this number. This is roughly y2, which equals to 1.22. So that's that approximation. Now let's do one more before we just get to the table that I have uh, I have already created before. So y3, again the same idea, y2, 1.22 plus 0.1, which is h. Now we have x plus y, um, but we do the previous x, y. So x2, which was 0.2 plus uh, y2, which is again 1.22, because again x plus y is the derivative or the capital F of xy. So what this equals to now is, is again, I just want to exercise my algebra skills. This is plus 1 over 10. Adding these up, that's just 1.42, and writing this as 1 over 10, so we can just easily divide this out. So this equals to 1.22 plus 0.142. So adding these up, what we end up having is, this is 1.2 and this is 4.2. You could just add these up simply. We'll get one point, let's do this in our head. It's two plus one is three, the four plus two, two plus four is six. There's no carrying over, so we just add each digit. Two and there's nothing there. So 1.362, and again, what this means is our point 0.3 of this is the exact solution is roughly equal to y3 of our linear approximation, 1.362. Yeah, so yeah, those are our approximations for uh, three of the points, or for three x values, uh, but in this case, yeah, if we were to proceed with similar uh, calculations, we get the values in this table right here, where we have, let's say, n and 1. Yeah, if we had, just again, 0 0.1 um, xn, we get this approximation, 0 0.2. So again, these are the step sizes, 0 0.1 all the way to 1, and we get approximation of 3.18. And, and this one's this is in an Excel file that I have over here created. You can also download this in the link below. So set up, so that's our equation. This is our x0, y0, h.1. And again, our uh, equation here this is simply, we're just adding, yeah, we're just gonna be adding our previous xn and our previous y, uh, yn right here. So y1, x1, times it by the step size, etc. And then we get our approximation. And again, for here, for our first three, we had 1.1, 1.22, 1.362, and keep going further up to 10 times to get y1, 3.1874, etc. So as you can see, yeah, you could just do this uh, with a calculator or a Excel file. That's pretty easy. But for a more accurate table of values, we could decrease the step size further. So instead of dealing 0.1, we could deal with stuff like this, 0 0.001. But for a large number of steps, the amount of computation is considerably, I mean, is considerable, so we need to program a calculator or computer to carry out these calculations. And here I did this for, I did the, I used the spreadsheet for these as well, just because uh, I didn't want to calculate this out by hand uh, anymore. So uh, if we were to deal with even finer ones, like, I mean, even finer step sizes like this, uh, yeah, we, we would get more accurate results. And basically the following table here shows the results of applying Euler's method with decreasing step size to the initial value problem above. So if we keep decreasing here, so an estimate of y of 0.5, first step size 0.5 like this, we get 1.5. And then as you get really, really, really small, 0 0.001, we get we're getting close to the exact answer, 1.7669. For y of 1 or x is 1, we get about 3.433. As you can see, it gets more and more accurate. And this one here, I just used these, this table from my calculus book. But to get an idea of this, you can either program a calculator yourself or just use a random website. Uh, this random one here 
Now here's an example of uh, plugging in our f of x equation, I mean f of x, y, this is x plus y, and then our x, 0, 0, 1 here, and this is a point 0.5, I think it's how you want. So this is solving it for point 0.5, uh, for x is point 0.5, and we're breaking this up into 500, uh, 500 uh, parts, or in other words, step size of uh, point 0, 0, 0.001. So again, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, all the way, etc. When you calculate it using this calculator, going all the way down, just show you an example of one calculator. This one shows all the values, and we finally get up to here, 0. 0.5. This is 1.79661, uh, and then round up, we get a 9 exactly as we have here, 1.79661, and 9 rounded. Uh, so that's an idea of it, and this one, all these other values I got from my calculus book. So I notice that the Euler estimates, again, in the table seem to be approaching a limit, namely the true values of y of 0.5 and y of 1. As you can see here, initially is 1.5, 1.6, and it's quickly going only to 1.7, and then as you can see when we get it, 0 0.005 step size, 1.79, or 3.42 here, and then b basically, it, it's, as you can see, it's getting closer and closer to an exact value. And here, you can say that at, at least to 1.79, it should be accurate to. And here, maybe 3.43. And then the other decimal places uh, uh, basically are less accurate. But as you can see, it's getting closer and closer to an exact value. And in fact, if you were to graph these out, also I graph that out over here. I basically made this table into a table like this and then I graphed all of these out and again you can download that Excel file if you want to play around with the uh, figures and numbers so when we were to graph these out so again this is for 0.5 both of these are approximating 0.5 and then this is up to 1 and as you can see 2.5 right here is our first approximation this is a uh, step size of 0.5, so it's not that accurate. And, and as you can see, as you're increasing the accuracy, or uh, this is basically decreasing step size. So decreasing step size, and our accuracy is approaching a limit. Or in other words, is approaching the exact or true values of y 0.5 and y 1. As you can see here, everything is just getting closer and closer to it as you get more more fun. And again, like the table, notice how the Euler approximations are approaching the exact solution. And one more note uh, I just want to make before I end this video. Uh, computer software packages that produce numerical approximations to solutions of differential equations use methods are refinements of Euler's method. Uh, and they don't always have to use this basic one. But although this uh, method that I've shown is simple and not as accurate as some of the other more advanced approximations, it is still the basic idea on which the more accurate methods are based. So it, it all follows the same thing. You get a little, little small um, increments, and then as you get smaller and smaller, it just requires more computing power, but the accuracy increases, and you get closer and closer to the exact solution. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learn from this. A uh, pretty interesting example video on Euler's method, and uh, like always, you can download these notes in the link below, and also you can download those uh, that Excel file I've um, that I also made in the link below as well if you're interested in that. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, like always, uh, yeah, stay tuned for another math easy solution.